So just in today we have a 2008 Range Rover Sport. Very nice spec on this particular car. I'm just going to walk you around the vehicle. Starting with the outside. You've got a split tailgate at the back. So a luggage chute just up there. All fully open like that. You also have a rear load cover. Driver's toolkit. Spare wheel which is situated underneath the car. Full size spare, might I add. The back of the car, you've got the tinted windows. This lovely beechwood veneer. Soft grain leather. Uh, middle seat which doubles up as a centre armrest. An auxiliary input as well and also two heated seats in the back. Some ventilation on top of that. Tires are good on this car. Paintwork's excellent. Very, very capable vehicle. Not many cars in the market that will literally climb the side of a mountain in extreme luxury, but this is one of them. So, options wise, you've got the Harman Kardon upgraded sound, folding door mirrors, it's got three phase memory, electric heated seats in the front, also lights, also wipers. I've got the key in my pocket, so let's start the engine. Just pop that in there. So then starting in the centre stack, you've got full touchscreen, satellite navigation system, off-road information so you can see what steering angle you're at and also you can pick up um, objects under the vehicle. The car's got front and rear parking sensors as well as a built-in compass, you know, as you might expect with the GPS. Um, parking sensors can be shut off with this button here. Traction can be completely turned off with that button there. You've got FM, AM, CD player, auxiliary input as well. Telephone prep. Coming down, you've got the two-phase heated seats. And obviously, usual sort of stuff, you can change where the fan's blowing from. It's got a heated front screen and rear screen as well. The gearbox as in all Range Rovers is an automatic but it can be manually overridden like so electronic parking brake and you've also got these off-road settings so you've got the normal mode for general driving and you've got an ice mode mud, sand and rocky terrain all these different settings set up the vehicle specifically for the conditions that you're driving in Moving down, you've got the adjustable ride height, hill descent control, and high and low range settings for the gearbox. In the centre, you've got a fridge, which is operated on and off with that button there. Clear dials in front of you. Down here, usual sort of things. You've got the indicator, main beam, uh, voice command button just there. Cruise control, operated with these buttons here, on and off, faster, slower. Um, you've got the various mode settings for the radio, so you can go from radio, CD player, auxiliary, um, AM, FM, flick through those. Uh, you can toggle the volume with this one and flick through stations or tracks with that one. And then obviously telephone controls there. Nice interior on this car, it's a beige leather, coupled with a black dash and, as you saw, like a beechwood effect on the wood. Tasteful car, tastefully specced from new. It's got the Xenon headlights. As you can see, nicely, nicely spec car. It's done 100,000 miles, but it's just £12,490. A lot of car for the money. 
you'd like to reserve this vehicle, you've seen it now, you can do so, give me a call, my name's George, and my telephone number here is 01926 267 813. Thank you.